yes, it's done. And um, before we start, I just need to ask, uh, how are the positions in your screen? Of where are you? Where where am I? And where is any? And uh, I am. Uh, you are at the bottom. I'm at the bottom. On your and uh, and you, Miguel. Uh, the the same. You are on the bottom. Okay, I'm on the bottom. So you two, Annie and Muriel, you're side to side. Yes. I am right for me, and Muriel is left for me. Okay. Uh, you are left, and I am right for me. Okay. Ah, but so, alors. It's, yes. Uh, so we're not at the same place. Okay. Just needed to know to know that. Okay. <laughs> um. And it's not uh, easier. It's not easy for me to to turn around because no, 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 uh, it's, it's fine. It's fine. I just need to know who is side to side and who was on bottom. It's good that I'm on the bottom on your end. Okay. Um. And um, maybe any? Can you? Sorry. <laughs> can you also record this one? Uh, yes, I start now. Okay. Okay, it started. And we all have our eyes closed and we can move. And it's right. <clears throat> Take a moment to know where your body is and how your body is in front of the camera, in front of the computer. And just breathe, letting yourself be in front of the camera, in front of the computer. Remember what you saw on the screen when you had your eyes open? Have that image with you? Try to feel the space between your ears and your shoulders. The space between your nose and the screen. The space between your body and the screen and the computer. Slowly, your hands reach to touch the computer. Slowly your hands move through the keyboard without pressing, without pressuring the keys. Always careful. Slowly, your hands start to go up and be within the frame, what you think is the frame of what the camera is seeing.
and slowly your hands will try to find the edges of the frame, of your frame. Try that one hand is touching the side, almost as if touching the other person to your side. And the other hand in the bottom, trying to touch the person in the bottom. And try always to be within this limit and let your hands move freely along the limit of the webcam, of the frame. And as your hands are doing this, try to look without opening your eyes to the person in the bottom. and to the person to your side. Your hands keep moving on what you think is the limit of your screen, of your frame of the webcam. Try to push one of the side limits and make your body go out of the frame, your head, as if entering the other, the other person's space. Coming back, try to find a center and how your body is positioned in that center. Leave your hands to move freely within the space of the frame. And as the hands, make the hands slowly approach your own head and pressure it down as if going out down to meet the person in the bottom. Try to completely disappear off the frame. leaving the space empty. And try only to show one hand, whatever hand you want. And try to see if, if in your imagination there's some connection to the other hands floating in the space.
And while you're doing this, while you're just having your hands in front of the camera or your own hand in front of the camera, discovering this large space, almost infinite space, try to perceive how your body is, the changes it has made. And if you can show to the camera that whole position that your body has taken, coming back to the camera, coming back to be in front of the camera with your face and torso. And letting the hands and arms always move freely as if they were suspended in some kind of void and without gravity. We'll be silent and try to perceive the noises of the other spaces. And we come back trying to remember how we were in the beginning in front of the camera, how we were, where our hands were, how our body was, where our weight was in the beginning, maybe the space between your ears and your shoulders is not the same anymore, but try to remember that. And as we are back to the position of the beginning, Stop recording now. You too.